Hello everyone. So I have received a question recently from one of my viewers. She was in especially interested about knowing the difference between teaching assistantship and the research assistantship. So I, I thought to myself, why not I can spend my, my time to talk about this and give some valuable insight to my audience about it. When I got this specific question from one of my uh, viewers in my channel, I thought that uh, first I will reply to her comments, but later I thought that okay, I have a good leave or off time in the upcoming days because of 4th of July. So I thought that why not I make a video which will not only give reply to her question, but also uh, it will help others also to know about the concern that she has. Maybe it is the same concern that other people or students also has. So I believe that in, instead of replying to this question, it is better to make a video which will have the more visibility to the more audience and it will in terms helpful for them. So I hope you will enjoy this video. So stay with me. So our question was about like is there any specific requirement to say for a graduate teaching assistantship and the research assistantship? Like our question was is there any different between, uh, between them in terms of the requirement? foundation or from their initial funding which they usually receive as a faculty member. So if they have some initial funding uh, like from the department as a new faculty member or if they have some other funding resources then they will usually recruit you as a graduate research assistantship or if sometimes they do not have this research funding department usually give them a graduate student as a teaching assistant. So what happened in that case? Department employ a specific number of teaching assistants for the department who actually work under a specific professor. So what graduate teaching assistants do? They help the professor to teach their students like in terms of grading or proctoring the exam, something like that. And in return, department usually give them the tuition waiver and also a generous monthly stipend. But remember, in both of the cases, they have to perform the same work. Like what they do? They do the same work like uh, they are doing their PhD or Masters, they are doing their research. But when you are a research assistant, it is good that you do not need to do some additional teaching activities like grading or proctoring exam. You are just doing your research and you are getting paid for it and getting the tuition web. But when you are acting as a teaching assistant, then not only you need to do your teaching assistantship job like grading, proctoring exam or sometimes taking class, lab classes, but also you have to do your research side by side. So this is the difference. But for requirement, you do not need to have any different requirements set up. And another question from her side was that for teaching assistantship and the research assistantship, is there any requirement difference for the, from the professor? No. Usually if you do, if you do not have a specific uh, line or a specific in-line research with the professor, even though they are okay to recruit you as a research assistantship, similarly when they are okay to recruit you as a teaching assistantship. So for both, requirement is almost same. Like if you have a similar profile aligned with your professor, either he can recruit you as a research assistant based on his available research funding or if he doesn't have the research funding, if he has the departmental funding, he can recruit you as a, a teaching assistant also. But in both of the cases, you need to continue your graduate studies and you have to continue your research. But if you are a graduate teaching assistant, so apart from doing your research and study, you have to help the professor in terms of his teaching courses. Okay, so this is the mainly difference. I hope you get your answer 
and there is no specific difference in terms of your profile setup but there are some requirements I want to mention for some of the department in USA for becoming a teaching assistantship they ask to have at least seven in this big module of IELTS and equivalent uh, profile for TOEFL so in some of the departments some of the colleges they ask for it and some of them do not so if you want to be a teaching assistant you have to meet this requirement like you have to have a specific seven band in this speaking section of IELTS okay so I hope you got your answer and if you have any further question feel free to drop a comment below and I will try to make another video or answer your question there I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you soon in another video. Have a nice rest of the day and happy food.